Sunny ways, my friends. Sunny ways. Uh, I'm actually not in favor of decriminalizing cannabis. I'm in favor of legalizing yeah. it. Tax and regulate. Um, oh, those sunny ways. During the 2015 federal election campaign, Liberal Party leader Justin Trudeau promised to legalize marijuana. This grew a lot of support, not only from pot activist Mark and Jody Emery. Would hopefully lead to legalizing marijuana or taking it out of the schedule six months later, six months later, six months later. So how do you know you're not being duped into voting for Justin Trudeau? It doesn't bother or concern me. I'm comfortable being a member of the Liberal Party and advocating them for the very important reason to legalize marijuana. But this also grew a lot of support from millennials. Justin seems to think that marijuana is all fun and games. We're around here kind of <laughs> You're kidding. Like that. You didn't bring that to the parliament. <laughs> <laughs> Why, is it, it's not good? But people are actually having their lives ruined due to these marijuana possession charges. Like having a criminal record which restricts your ability to travel and also applying for certain jobs. Based off of 2014 statistics, Canada had 79 marijuana possession charges per 100,000 people. Calculating for Canada's 35 million people, that's just under 30,000 charges in 2014 alone. But things are different now that there's a new government, right? The current prohibition stands. So, you know, I don't know how much clearer we can be. So that means from 2014 to 2016, if we use these same stats, Canada has had over 80,000 marijuana possession charges in only three years. Even if the Liberals want to start legislation by the spring of 2017, it's going to take a while for that bill to become a law. For example, Green Party leader Elizabeth May's Lyme disease bill took over two and a half years from the first reading of the bill until it became law. If Justin was really motivated to enact on his promise of marijuana legalization, then it would have been done already. When under pressure from the Supreme Court, the Liberals were able to rush the assisted suicide bill into law within two months. So the Liberals can push legislation through when motivated, but why won't they for their promise of legalizing marijuana? Justin Trudeau may have gotten the millennial vote in the last election due to this very promise. But if he doesn't legalize marijuana before the next election in 2019, he may lose the millennial vote to someone else. I want to legalize marijuana across the Federation. Canada should have that. We should regulate it. We should tax it. Just like we do tobacco, we should take it out of the hands of criminals. What about that a carbon should happen tax? Immediately. I don't know why we're waiting for it. I don't know why we're waiting for it. I don't know why we're waiting for it. So, Justin, are you finally going to stop arresting thousands of people every year? Or are you finally going to fulfill your promise and legalize marijuana?